Hey there everyone, today I'm going to be covering how I like to test um, stuff in OTP in general. So essentially what my process is, how things work, and how you can replicate my process as well. Just to be clear, uh, I'm trying to be as open about my testing process as possible and how I'm collecting data because obviously if I expect you guys to trust what I'm putting out there you deserve to know where it's coming from and you deserve to have the opportunity to replicate my results or create your own test if you can come up with better methods. So first thing I want to go over is I do have a standardized league. I've been using this process since OETP 21. Uh, I got to a point where I feel as though it was nearly perfected last year and pretty, pretty uh, effective overall. So what I have here are two absolutely identical teams, and that's going to be the big key. Um, so we're going to go over how I set this league up so that everything is accounted for and everything is neutralized. So all the noise in collecting data is gone and you're just looking at the effects of whatever it is you're testing. So the first thing is I've turned off basically everything I don't need for the game to function in terms of uh, just pure player versus player attributes because everything else will complicate it. It will add noise and we don't want that. So scouting is off. Um, I have coaching system off. Owners are off, essentially. Storylines are off. I have injuries off. I have fatigue off. I have... Um, suspensions off i have personality and morale systems off i have player dis development completely disabled i have um under league settings these things are a little less important but i obviously only have two teams i have the draft off i have uh the creation of free agents disabled i have trading disabled uh, the financial system is off. <coughs> that is actually kind of important because it makes it a little easier to navigate your league. Uh, I have all player creation disabled. And under stats and AI, and this is the big one, I'm going to make sure I set these modifiers to be what they are in the real game. Uh, so I go through the right side and I'm Every time I test things out, I will look at a live start. I'll just start up a live game, go into this section, take screenshots, and then make sure that in my test league, these modifiers are what they are in the live game. Um, same for the ones down here. And of course, the general strategy tendencies on the left. You also need to make sure you hit those, uh, which is something I think I need to refresh those strategies actually before I get into more testing since the game's been updated since I last... Um, since I've last tested things, essentially, and you do need to check those every update because they do change, and it will affect the way your simulation will look. So the next thing I do is I create a league that looks a lot like a live league. So overall, the general player ratings are going to look a lot like they would for an average live game. Or... I guess it would probably be a little bit below average for the most part because live players and historical play or fictional players, I should say, are very powerful this year. So that's another thing I mean to modify. But anyways, regardless, I create a large variety of skills. So I got some guys who hit for power, get on base. I got some guys who hit for average. I got some guys who are great hitters. I got some guys who are bad hitters. Uh, it's important to have a variety so you could test how different ratings are going to interact with each other within the game rather than just testing how is this player going to do against this one particular player. Now another thing is since I have batter fatigue off, I don't have any bench players. This allows me to remove statistical noise as replacing, for example, um, contact or BABIP, I should say, on this player. I'm only going to see the effects of that BABIP changing as I won't have to worry about him playing more games or less games. And I'll get over a 162 game sample rather than a smaller amount uh, that I would be able to see if I were using backups. Now, I have a very specific pitching setup, essentially. The important thing, though, is that you have it standardized between both teams. You need your bullpen and rotation to be set the same. You need your starting pitcher strategies at the bottom left to be the same. Strategies between both games have to be the same. I like using neutral strategies just because that keeps noise out of stuff. It leaves um, it what OTP views as default. 
you need to go through every player's strategy and make sure they're all at neutral as well. You can't allow players to have their own individual strategies, or once again, it will throw things off when you're comparing the two leagues. Uh, now, as for that, uh, that's going to be a majority of everything. I am pretty sure that I've covered everything here, but if you're curious, you could check out my previous video on how to make a standardized test league, which I believe covers the minutia of some things a little bit. However, that video is outdated, so I'm not even going to bother linking it in the description. I would rather you just ask me if you have any questions. Um, and before you run tests, guys, and this is the most important thing, when you've collected data, before you release data, talk to people about it. Do not just put data out there saying, oh, I ran a test at OOTP, and I found that um, avoid case isn't important at all. Well, then you go and give it to somebody. They look through your data. They're like, hmm, things don't look right here. And then they find out that you had your strikeout modifier way down or something like that. You, it's so important that you te you talk to other people about your data before you release it just to make sure everything's right. Obviously, I want to make sure that I'm only putting data out there that I am pretty confident in, and I do talk to people before I release data. So if you're not involved in the community and you're interested in collecting data, please, by all means, join my Discord and talk to myself and the other wonderful people in there who would be more than happy to help you collect data and discuss the game and its mechanics. Anyways, guys, I hope this video was helpful for you, and I'll see you on the next one.